Hello, and in episode 13 today we have stuffed grape leaves from Azerbaijan. This episode is cause for celebration because this is finally the last A. So I've done all the countries that start with an A. So yeah, hooray for me. Whoop, whoop. Apparently working with dill, you really don't want the branches, any part of it, so you just have to pinch it away. Found it kind of fun. I would appreciate it if you guys let me know in the comments about uh, scenes like this, me chopping the ingredients. Like I'm not teaching you how you guys have to chop. Is this like a waste of time or you enjoy watching the chopping? I don't know. I found grating onions a little bit too annoying. So I got to use my new blender and I'm loving it. Okay, by far this is the hardest part of the recipe, trying to get those leaves out of the jar. I was concerned that I was not going to be able to find the leaves and I was going to go to a vineyard and steal some leaves. And But I did find the leaves, but I think it's uh, easier to go steal some leaves than get them out of this jar. When using jar leaves, you got to make sure you really clean them because they come in some sort of brine and you want, don't want any of that. And this is what I mean, like, I, you guys don't need to see me chopping everything. I could just start at the video right here. Just all the ingredients already up. And I'm also doing a little experiment on this video, filming it horizontally for the first time. I don't know if you guys like it better. It's more cinematic and stuff, but yeah, let me know. Okay, guys, now that I'm editing the video, I can really see what I'm doing. As you can see, the leaf has two sides, a shiny one and not so shiny side. Now, you're supposed to put the shiny side down facing the table. So I'm doing it wrong here, but it, it still works. I'm gonna fold them like a burrito and you're good to go. Just do it all. This might come as a surprise to you guys, but uh, English is not my first language. And editing this video, I figure out that leaves, it's spelled differently depending what. L-E-A-F for one leaf. L-E-A-V-E-S for many leaves. But if you're a hockey team in Canada, Toronto Maple Leafs, you spell it singular and plural at the same time. I don't know, I find it very frustrating. This is another recipe that, according to my sister, my abuelita used to make when we were little kids. I have zero recollection of this, but she says she dreams with it. Not with it, about it. I read that this dish is uh, usually served with bread. And I got no fancy bread at the time, so I just serve them with regular bread. So all the son likes it. Not a surprise here. Middle son. Let's see. He's very suspicious about what's going on in his mouth. Oh, but he likes it. Youngest son. I had to edit some of the chewing. I had to fast forward the chewing because there was a lot of chewing. But he liked it at the end. 